So we've introduced the STEM activity into primary schools. The year that they choose their options has been brought forward. Engaging with young people has become more and more important. There's a skill shortage within the construction sector. The earlier that we can work with these young people, the greater chance we've got of getting them into employment more than anything else, but to consider construction as well. I think we've got a really big push on primary schools at the minute to think about careers. You know, obviously you've got secondary school next. It's probably an industry they don't know much about and I think it's allowed them to understand some of the roles within that industry, construction sector. We've come up with a plan for how we can educate the kids on site safety. It's an area of growing up that the kids need to be aware of. We've told them about obviously the rights and wrong on construction sites. There's a lot of new build in the area at the moment. Uh, summer holidays coming up, so hopefully they can take that on board. After speaking to them at the end of the day, they were quite keen to take on. They were saying, oh, I want to be a planner. I'd like to do, I'd like to be a joiner. But I think it's just giving them a bit of a, an idea about what construction is and some of the things that they might want to do within it. Construction sites are a big attraction for this year group, so health and safety has played a big part. Working as a team, working individually, thinking about how rewards can benefit them going forward. It's been a really fun day and the children have got a lot out of it. I've enjoyed Fortune coming into school because I've learned more about how to keep safer. I think it was cool to learn about do the big scene up there try and find the different dangers and I like doing the spaghetti tower and having to like make it steady and not fall over. <laughs> I've learned how to use a drill by making the bird boxes and um, I also learned that you need to plan your designs first because that's when our marshmallow tower fell down. My best bit so far is the bird boxes now because I get to use tools that I don't really get to use that much. You shouldn't leave things out. You should, when your parents ask you to tidy up a moo, it's like sounds a bit crazy, but you should say, yes, I'll do it. Because if there's a fire that night and you've not tied it up, you could trip over something that you have to tidy up. I would like to work for Tim because you can come into schools and like you could help people and learn about construction. I got an email asking if I wanted to be involved. At first when I was planning a meeting I thought this could be a bit boring for kids but watching presentations and interaction with kids it's gone really well. It's good to just give back a little bit. It's good to see the interaction and like building them bird boxes then, the complete product, seeing kids happy with what they've just built. Today's gone really, really well. I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I know my colleague Stuart has from the health and safety side of things. Generally looking around the room and at the, the smiling faces of all the other staff that's been here it's definitely been a success and hopefully one that we can take on to the future and do future projects with other schools. Get yourselves out here, get involved, it's absolutely brilliant. Working with younger children, it's all very new to four term. It's an area that will certainly go forward in again. STEM's really important, it's very topical at the moment and year six helping them transition from primary school into secondary school is another area where we need to consider as well. So I'd just like to say a really big thank you to Fortum for coming in today, giving up their time. Um, a lot of you came in today and you've made it really fun for the children, so a big thank you.